，新年快乐。This is a question I get so often. I was doing some modeling over the summer when I wasn't making money teaching, and I went on Model Mayhem. I found some great photographers. I love their work, and I posted that work on a website called FetLife.com. And FetLife.com is kind of a kinky Facebook where you get to see a bunch of different kinksters and their photos, and some things are private and some things are public, depending on what you choose. And I posted those photos, and I got approached by a recruiter to do adult movies. Okay. So do you remember what was your mood in the first time shooting for me? Oh, I was so nervous. <laughs> so nervous. So my first scene was with Bruce Venture, uh -huh. and it was for Reality Kings. And I was so nervous because I didn't know if I could deal with such a big cock. I mean, yeah. let's be real. Because I'd heard these stories of Bruce Venture, the giant porn dick, yeah, you know? Huge. So I'm, and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, I've only had sex with like 11 people in my life <laughs> up to this point. So I was really nervous. But he did a great job of making me feel comfortable. And, you know, he had worked with many new girls. So it just, he helped me through my first scene, and the, the directors were great. Everybody was there to help me succeed, so it was good. So I just still want, just nervous, no exciting? I'm a little excited, but uh, like the nervousness was so prevalent that I couldn't help it. It was, after the fact, I was like, that was awesome, let's do it again. But, you know, initially it was just so overwhelmingly nervous. Okay, so uh, what the craziest things you have ever done in your life? The craziest things I've ever yes. done? Oh, probably doing porn. I mean, oh. <laughs> this is so far away from anything that I would have told you 10 years ago that I could possibly ever do in my life. But I got an opportunity, and I wasn't happy in my situation currently when I, when I got this opportunity. So it was for the first time in my life, I decided to go for it. And because I'd made that decision, like, look at all these opportunities that I've had. I've traveled the world. I get to do anything that I want whenever I want. And that is something that very few people can say. So I just opened up so many doors that it was the one time I made the crazy decision that worked out. <laughs> so uh, do, you think, uh, do you think there are a big difference between the real life sex and the porn sex? Absolutely. Absolutely, there's a huge difference between those two. First of all, I don't have to open up to the camera. Oh, yeah. I, I, I can have a man blanket yeah. on me, and it could just be the, the very slow, sensual sex, because I don't, sex that is like in and out, pounding, like it's just so for show yeah. that I don't think a lot of people like that in their real lives. Now, every now and then, yes, I want to be pounded. <laughs> But as a general rule, you know, 90% of my sex, I want it to be soft and slow, and I want to, like, build up to the orgasm. I don't want the orgasm to be the thing we go for from the, right, from the very beginning. Yeah, I think most of girls feel, like, romantic and soft. Yes, and we're soft, life. feminine creatures. We need yeah. romance. <laughs> so, you know, I have been to Japan half year, mm -hmm. and I had to try the sushi body. Sushi body, yeah. Yes. Have you had that before? I have. I actually attend a swingers cruise, uh -huh. and they ha bring me on as entertainment, and I am the sushi platter for <laughs> one of the lunches, and the, the, the fans love it. The people on the boat love doing it. How do you feel? I, I love it. It's very heavy. Yeah. That's the thing that I didn't realize when they, and they make these beautiful creations on my body with different rose-type petals of like you know yeah. radishes they do different shavings and carrots and different things and it just looks so pretty it's a work of art on its own and then when people get to come and pick one off it's just like that little itch <laughs> every now and then you know the bamboo leaves start to dry up I, I just it's such an amazing experience and I'm so fortunate to get to do that because where else do you really get to do something like that yeah. you know it's a you know maybe a strip club but nobody wants strip club sushi <laughs> yeah. that's really not that's not the best <laughs> I got it uh, so how many porn videos you have taken so far? How, how if I had to guess, I'd say probably close to 200, 200. maybe maybe more. So um, I knew you were going to ask this. I have a scene with Johnny Sins for Brazzers. It's called Lexi Gets Drenched. And it's, an, it's part an oil scene, part a bathtub scene. And it was the first time in my career that I felt like a porn star. I forgot the cameras were rolling, and it was just me and him in that moment. And it just felt so like this is what sex should be, 
You know, it was a mixture between the, the sex people want to have and the porn sex they see, and I felt like I was getting both at once. And when I left that scene, I was like, wow, I, this is the first time I'm calling myself a porn star. So that was definitely a hallmark scene for me. By the way, Johnny Cash is my favorite porn actor. He's a great performer. He's a great performer. Absolutely. Cool as fuck. Like, are you kidding? Johnny Sins? Come on. Everything he got. I know. <laughs> so, XY is pretty cool. Can mm. you tell the top three favorite porn actresses? I recently worked with Vanna Bardot, and I love her. Adore her. She's, an, she's up for Best New Starlet at AVN this year. She's just so easy to work with. She loves girls. Um, she, we had a great scene together, even though it was a boy-girl-girl boy, scene where it was two of us with one guy. She and I just had great chemistry, and I think that she, this is the way she performs with a lot of girls. So she's definitely in my top three. Um, gosh. Who else? She's no longer in the industry, but I really loved working with Addison Lee. She's a cam model now, and that's mostly what she's focusing on. But she and I had a, a scene for Reality Kings together, and I got to play her mom. And she was like the rebellious teenager who she, I caught her smoking a cigarette, and she was just in so much trouble. And it just, it's, it was really funny to me because Addison, she's not that girl. So to see her play that character, it was so much fun. And then we really connected really well, and it just ended up being a great scene. Um, and then a third one. Man. Oh, it's so hard. I think, uh, maybe you want uh, compared to who you, you have to work with you before. Maybe it's okay. I think the last one would have to be Ariana Marie. Oh. I did a scene with Ariana Marie, and when the cameras weren't rolling, um, she and I were just kind of like playing around and I was licking her pussy and kind of fingering her a little bit and I made her come really hard when the cameras weren't rolling. <laughs> so it was so disappointing because I didn't get to capture that moment on film, but it was just so real to actually make somebody come on a set but not regard regarding the scene. Right so it was, that was I, those are three top, okay, top cool. three. So next one, do you have any hobbies? I do. I love to do jigsaw puzzles. So I love to get a photo of something and have a puzzle and put it together. It's very relaxing to me. It's something I don't have to think about. I just put my mind out to pasture and I can just focus on the puzzle and the colors and grouping things together. I don't have to really think about it. So how big you can do? Um, the biggest one I've done is 1,500 pieces. 1,500? Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> but you know, it takes a long time and I don't really have that much time anymore. But back when I did, and I have, I frame them, I, I, I glue them together with puzzle glue, right. and then I frame them, and it's artwork in my house, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, you know, this time you have the AVN Festival in MIAF, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it looks very young. I know, I what? know. I, I don't understand why you wrote this. Let award. me tell you why uh -huh. I'm a MILF. I'm 30, so that automatically puts me in the category. And I also have fake boobs, so I can't be a teen with fake uh, boobs. I, uh, I don't make the rules. Those are just the rules of porn. <laughs> so because I'm 30 plus and have fake boobs, that's what makes me a MILF. It looks like 25. I know. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so if you have superpowers, uh -huh. what is number one forever young? <sighs> number two, unlimited money. Uh -huh. Number three, you can got a perfect, amazing boyfriend. <laughs> Which one? Oh, man, I feel like unlimited money can buy me the other two. So unlimited oh, money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. If you have a chance to date with these three people, number one, Rob De Niro Jr. Okay. Number two, Brad Pitt. Number three, Dwayne Johnson. Which one? Oh, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, you like the Oh, I man, like right? The Rock. Yes, that <laughs> tattoo and the cute face and the big build. Yes. Wow, Give me The Rock. <laughs> okay, last one. Uh, there are many new girls they want to join in the porn industry. Mm -hmm. So do you have some advice for them? Absolutely. Remember that the moment that you put yourself online, you are online forever. And make sure that you are able to have a career outside of porn after you decide to be done with porn. Because I know I, when I decided to, to join porn, I knew I could never go back to teaching. I knew I was closing the door to my career, I was closing the door to my degrees, and that there was never any going back. But I was ready to make that decision after five years of being in my career. Make sure that if you are deciding to go into the adult industry, you just realize that it's forever. Great. Okay, this is all our questions.